Welcome to the Geek Den for issue 96 of the Star Trek Starship Collection. Uh, nice little box, a uh, very similar size box to the, uh, um, I can't remember, uh, Sulabon cell ship, so it's in the same sort of box. Uh, anyway, I'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's go through the magazine. Nice picture of the Orion scout ship on the front. Uh, and here is. Uh, Here's the front view of it. Warp 10. Okay. <laughs> um, people who know me know that I'm not a big TOS fan. But I have been loving some of these uh, remastered uh, TOS ships. So this is from the this is from the remastered TOS series. And there's some really nice detailing on this. Uh, so this is the Orion. It originally appeared, I do believe, on screen. As just a white, well, just an orange blob. Uh, but when they remastered it, they actually designed the ship as well. Uh, nice view here. Of the f I do believe this is the rear of the ship. Not side, top and bottom. Um, yeah, it's a really unusual design. Uh, uh, this is them going through, that's what it originally looked like. Uh, going through the design here. And then we've got... Uh, how they came out with Spock's character and the Vulcans. Like I said, I'm not a massive TOS fan, so that doesn't really bother me too much. And then the next issue is issue 97, the Flight Academy training ship. Um, it's, it looks really nice, uh, so I, I can't wait for that one. And then the back of it is basically the back of uh, the front of the ship there, that looks like. And uh, that's it for the magazine. Uh, so let's open this up and take a look closer. And we are back. And this is it out of the packaging. Um, as you can see, it's a sort of a grey, it's got two tone grey colour here. So it's got like a light grey and a dark grey. Uh, the die cast is this front section. So it's very top heavy when taken off the stand. Let's have a little bit closer. Look. As you can see, mine's a little bit wonky, but it doesn't bother me. Uh, and I know a lot of people have been saying that the, the balls ain't straight, but uh, they're supposed to rotate anyway. Uh, I don't want to push that too much. I'm breaking it, but it looks, it looks okay. Um, loving the design around the outside here. Then we've got these see-through color balls yellow balls here so all this is supposed to be rotating um, so it doesn't really have to sit straight for me uh, because that's supposed to rotate these are the little weapon pods uh, it's very top heavy uh, I've also noticed as well is that it is very detailed but it's on the small side um, I mean the packaging for it was quite I mean they could have they could have upscaled I mean it's you can see that the size it's 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 very small they could have made the model a little bit bigger in my eyes but um, you know we are what we have um, there it is Orion's ship it just says Orion ship on there not Orion scout ship um, but yeah, we've um, got some nice detailing on there. It's it's a nice, it's it's an unusual design for Star Trek. Very unusual. Um, it's not you wouldn't look at it and traditionally think that it was it was connected to the Star Trek universe. Um, but yeah, it's it's really nice. I think it's sitting on there a bit. The stand is really sturdy as well. I mean, it's I mean. It fits in there so snugly. I mean, others we've had uh, they slip straight out or they have trouble sitting in. But this is, as you can see, it's. I mean, I'm going to tip it up slightly here and see what happens. Nothing. Look at that. It's it's that tight in there. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, I like liking really um liking the design. Like I said, I'm not a big TOS fan, but 
I do like the these uh, remastered ships that we are getting. But uh, that is it for this issue. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Click to like it, and uh, and we'll see you at the next video.